Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ola for Mobile Wiz Tech. Now, if you own one of these guys, which is the Switch Mate by Simply Smart Home, you're probably more than aware of that it had issues working with your Google Assistant. At one time, it was working really well. Then Simply Smart Home broke it, and then they released a patch to make it work again, then they broke it again. So it was going back and forth, which caused a lot of frustrations. Well, that's why I made this video for it, because there is a fix for it. So to stay tuned, right after this, I'll get right into it. Now before I get started, like I normally say, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe and that notification bell button so that way you can stay up to date with my channel content. So if this is your first time setting up your switch mate and you're just trying to figure out how to do so, I won't spend time doing that in this video for this video is just pertaining to the fix. However, I do have a video that you can watch right here and it will walk you through on how to set up your switch mate with your phone. And once you have it set up with your phone, stop that video because it starts to go into how to link it up to your Google assistant and that's with an older version of the SwitchMate app, which can cause some confusion. So once you have it set up, you can stop that video and then you can watch this video and it has a more updated interface for the updated version of the app. So you can go ahead and continue watching that video and it will show you how to link it up to your Google Assistant. And then once you're done with that, you can pick off where you were watching the first video and find out how to do the commands for your Google Assistant to work with the switch mate and then you should be done. That's only if this is your first time setting up your switch mate. Now for those like us that already had this set up, then continue watching this video and I will show you what you need to do. So the first thing that you would need to do is go into the switch mate app and you want to delete any of your switch bank devices that you have linked up in the app. So you would just tap the gear icon here and then you would just go ahead and tap the gear icon for that switch mate. And then where it says delete, just tap delete and then delete and do the same thing for your other switch mate device that you have linked up in the phone or in the app should I say. And then once you're done with that, just go into the Google Play Store and make sure that you have the updated version of the SwitchMate app. And if you don't update it, and once you do have it, you're gonna go here and you're gonna clear the cache for your SwitchMate app. You're gonna force stop it first. So do a force stop. And then after you do that, you're going to go into storage and then you're going to clear cache and then you're going to clear data. And once you do that, you're going to go and set up your switch mates again. So if you get this error while trying to add your switch mate again, then do just as it says, you're going to remove the batteries out of your switch mate. Turn off the Bluetooth on your phone, put the batteries back into your switch mate, and then turn the Bluetooth back on your phone, and then try again after that. After doing so, you should see the screen here. So let's go ahead and give this a test run, shall we? Hey, switch mate. Let's get switch mate. Hi, this is switch mate. How can I help you? Living room on. Living room turned on. And as you can see, it works just as it should. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also share and subscribe. I thank you for watching and until next time, keep it mobile.